guys, welcome back to another Six Feet Under Studios podcast. And guess what, Caesar? Ah, uh, you're drinking water? Monday. Uh-huh. We're at a spot. <laughs> We're not at the studio. We're not at the sexy corner. We're at another location, but we'll get to that right now. But first, got to pay the bills. Got to thank some people. Got to enjoy the Dude. first thing of the day. What? You want to stop the music? That's, uh, nah, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. okay, sorry about that. <laughs> nah, okay. I just realized Jeez. you're good. Cutting on my flow and shit. <laughs> That's it. Start over. <laughs> I'm just okay. kidding. I'll fix it in post. I'm fix it in post. I'll fix anything but, in post. I don't fix anything in post. But like always, gotta thank this. Oh shit. I didn't oh. know. I'll do know what it means. <laughs> it's delicious. Gotta thank our good sponsors, the good guys that make delicious beer. Shout out to Old Chief Dark Brewery, Brewery, Old Chief Dark Brewery, located at 3900 Rosa Avenue, El Paso, Texas, 79905, right there on the barrio, guys. Lincoln Park. Shout out to those guys. Stood your stood. Grab a beer. Have a six feet beer, because you know what? It's delicious. Shug it. Not that, not that many, because then you get fucked up, and then I want to be responsible for your ass. Don't sue us. <laughs> yeah, you can barely be responsible for ourselves. Oh, yeah, dude, no. <laughs> We're just, I'm just an alcoholic, so that's cool. <laughs> Stood up and look at thank those guys. Uh, stop by, have some beers. Still your suit at the brewery. Said hi to everybody there. Gus, Jocelyn, Nicole, Victor, me. <laughs> Sometimes these are just uh, checking his DMs. In Every the, now and then. In the sexy that's, corner. That's my Tinder meetup spot. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Actually, I have people like, go on Tinder dates there, and it's hilarious. The Ochita? Yeah. It's hilarious because I'll talk more to the girl than the guy. Because I'm just like, what kind of beer do you like? And the guy's just like waiting there. Dude, like, I'm talking more to your girl now than you. You trying to pull the robbery every time or what? <sighs> nah, dude. <laughs> Call me. <laughs> but also got to thank the guys that have the delicious stogies. Shout out to Vitola's. Vitola, look at that 216 West Franklin, El Paso, Texas, 79901. Right there next to the baseball stadium, guys, across the... History Museum, grab a cigar, 260 cigars, guys. They don't say they don't have anything for you because they have all the delicious flavor, all the tartiness, and they also have whiskey and bourbon, guys. So, you're not paired up your cigar. Smoke it up, light it up. You know, Top Shell Tuesdays is pretty fire. Because they get that Top Shell, uh, whoa, what? Top Shell? <laughs> top Shell uh, bourbon and it's going to fuck you up, but that stogie is going to keep you alive. Press, I'm a little impressed on that one. <laughs> Because I fucked up a little bit. But also got to thank uh, the guys that feed us sometimes, most, most of the time. Uh, shout out to Alex. Alex is the owner of White Knife Dining. White Knife Dining is the Pond Rock food truck. Get some delicious food from those guys. They'll be around town. I don't know anymore. They sh- like to party. We like to party. We all party together. <laughs> thank you to those guys. See, sir? Um, yeah, guys. And with that, please be sure to check us out at sixfeetunderstudios.com where you will find links to all of our streaming platforms, including our YouTube, Spotify, and our Apple Podcasts. You will also find a link to our Instagram where you can keep up with everything and anything Six Feet Under Studios, where we like to post constant updates with everything that we got going on. Also, please be sure to check out our website for our local spotlight where we like to give a feature to our friends who we work with or are going to work with so they can go ahead and have a section where they can be seen, they can be heard, and you guys can check out everything that's going on with them. We'll put up anything with uh, on there regarding anybody here locally, whether it be a barber, uh, OnlyFans person, a stripper, sh- stripper a restaurant, whatever it may be. Uh-huh. Anybody who we got something that we're working on with, we'll go ahead and post them on there so you guys go and check out what they got going on as well. Remember, guys, here at Six Feet Under, we're all about local supporting local, whatever it may be. Locals are always come first with us, um, especially right now during the pandemic and everything going on. They're the ones that had the hardest time trying to keep up with everything. So make sure you guys check them out and support them and also support us at Six Feet Under Studios. It was going fast, dude. I get in the mood and I get in the flow and I just can't I stop. Like, it's my little heart. Because if I stop, <laughs> then I feel like I'm gonna forget something. So I already got it memorized. So I'm like, just, just go with it, man. Don't stop it. Let me, let Don't it happen. Stop believing. Give me those sponsorships. Sorry, that was bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, wrapping a mixtape, uh, 2025, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but we're like I said at the beginning, we're here at a new location downtown. They got all the cheese, <laughs> they got all the food, and other stuff. I don't know. Uh, but if you guys want to introduce yourselves, uh, <laughs> where we're going to go first? Um, I'm the chef. Uh, my name is Gutter. Real name is Javier, but everyone calls me Gutter. It's just what I go by. <laughs> <laughs> and my name is Jorge. I'm uh, one of the co-owners of the restaurant Cheeses. But here we are. <laughs> also the most humble guy. Uh, I'm the most humble guy. I'm so fucking humble. You will be amazed. <laughs> That's why I respect him so much. Like when I first met him, I was like, bro, like what blows me away is just how humble you are. 
Oh, I, I thought you were going to go somewhere else. Like, blows me like, whoa. I know what blows me away. Like, oh, I like where this is That's going. how fucking humble I am, dude. Yeah. That's like, how fucking humble I am. Like, I blow me. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, cool, dude. Take. He, he wishes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. As long as you just hate no homo, it's okay. Yeah, well, I was like, that's it. Told you. <laughs> told you. He's like, you didn't believe me. I told you. We're, we're talking about a Vegas situation in the future. Oh, and like, yeah. we were just like, damn, we, we're all in the same room. Out. They were, you, I forgot what he told Kenny, but I was like, just don't make eye contact. And it's, you know, it's cool. <laughs> yeah. Whatever you do, don't. You and know, we're doing a devil's three way as long as the other guy's just like looking at you like this. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta, don't you got a high five? I was gonna say, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Eiffel Tower, Eiffel Tower, Eiffel Tower, yeah. It goes from the wobbly H to the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> And it's balanced. The <laughs> wobbly H. <laughs> That's what they were calling it in high school, dude. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, right. That was last week. Something <laughs> <laughs> like wobbly oh, H. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So what? What make it? What make you guys open this place other than cheese? <laughs> like, is there an obsession with cheese? Well, George, honestly, because, like, first it was just me and Kenny, and we had the food truck, which is still operating. Really? <laughs> El Paso, yeah. Where, where, well, no, not, not as cheeses. Oh, that's yeah. But uh, that, that truck has been a horror because it's been with the tap. <laughs> with, it started, cheeses started there. It's been with the tap. Uh, it used to be White Knife, and I'll lick it up as it. Uh, yeah. But it's it's been around. You, oh. Actually, the truck, you can see, see the cheeses logo outside, like from the oh, stickers. Thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah. But, so originally uh, it was a, yeah, it was a food truck. Like we did Neon Desert in 2015. Like we were just focusing on that. Like, I mean, ultimately we wanted to open a brick and mortar. Yeah. And then like last I heard from Kenny was like we he had bought a new truck and we we just had to like uh, upgrade it to get it street legal and whatnot because of the, some of the stuff inside. The guy who had it before us. Uh, he purchased items that are, you know, it's more for your home. It has <laughs> and industrial items like have a floor clearance, yeah. like everything, you know, it's a health code and everything. Um, so we were going to work on that. And then George came out of nowhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? And Kenny was like, hey, man, this guy wants to invest, but he wants to do like a spot. Nice. And then that's Into pretty George. much how it happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Made it I saw, possible. I, I, met, I met Kenny like three years ago. We started working at a restaurant together. Uh, and then, like, we started working really well together. So eventually, I told him, "Hey, dude, you wanna do something? If you wanna do something later, like as a business, was let me know." And then he introduced me to the, this idea of cheeses, and we're looking to spots around, around downtown. So last year, when COVID happened, I told him, "Hey, dude, I'm ready to." Before COVID was a thing, yeah. but before it came like to the US, <laughs> before, like, before, before, it was COVID, <laughs> before COVID was cool. Because <laughs> it's been cool for some. Reason? It's been cool for a while now. Oh, sure. it's good enough. Like, dude, I knew COVID before COVID was cool. Man. <laughs> November I'm the COVID hipster, dude. You know that? I'm that? That was me. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked up. What? Uh, <laughs> Teacher, yeah. a lot. We created the LLC like February last year, I think. Mm -hmm. And then COVID hit and we're like, fuck, okay, put everything on pause. And then uh, this, no, December we started meeting again for it. We started having ideas. We look at different spots around downtown. We're going to we're gonna take one that's just like two blocks from here. We decided not to. Which one? The one where a uh, great dog is? No. <laughs> Shit. It's uh, it's a famous for their for their sandwiches. Oh, okay. No, <laughs> and um, we all know. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, later on, like we decided, to, okay, let's move on, dude. So then we got the spot. Uh, it's a pretty, yeah. pretty chill spot, dude. And we had to redo like the whole thing. In here. Oh, bro, it was a mess in here. Yeah, it was. Like, it, it was looked bad. like a. I, I hope I don't sound racist or anything, but literally, it looked like an Asian preschool. <laughs> like, oh, damn it. There we go. We're canceled. Fuck, man. <laughs> no, I mean, because, like, right. well, if cause, we haven't been canceled with my moans, because it was like the, it was a ramen spot. It was called like Ichiban yeah. Ramen, but right. literally the decor, no, but, this guy had, um, I don't know, man, like 40 chairs in here, and they look like bamboo, but they look the like fuck? they're for children. How do you even fit 40 chairs in this spot? He had built like makeshift, like literally like long boards and put them against the walls. Oh, so really? this was like a counter here, a counter there. You know what I mean? Literally, these chairs, they're like half the size of these chairs. That's why I say a preschool. Like, you know <laughs> what, what I mean? And then, it, and then it was all bamboo theme. And then literally in the back over there, he had built a makeshift wall where this wall was created to separate yeah. the dining room and the kitchen, like literally with drywall and stuff. And then they had like pictures in they the back. They had two walls, yeah, two big walls. And then in the back were like pictures like 
uh, you know, Crayola drawn pictures of like I guess people who worked here, their kids or whatever. They're hanging them up. Like it was really weird. The fuck? Yeah, no, yeah, then, I, I have those pictures. I have one that says "I love you, mommy." Like I have it framed on my wall. <laughs> I like, so you know, cool, super, yeah. And every time I have a bad day, I like to come home and just take this picture. <laughs> and then the kitchen was like ridiculous. Like it's not a very big. I mean, it's in a right space. You know what I mean for what we're doing here. But I mean, they had like four more tables in there. An island, like we'll, we'll go look at it right now on the break, so you can see. Like it was, it was like a dungeon in there. Like whoever was cooking in there was literally like walled off from everything. There was just so much stuff. Yeah, like, that would get like, yeah, there was much more going on than just cooking back there. Probably. Well, somebody you, can you the, get a tattoo in the back? I'm pretty sure. You could get <laughs> well, bro, the health inspector was telling us because he's like. He's like, yeah, this was a ramen place, right? And we're like, yeah. I was like, we never came to it. And he's like, I would come by to eat at it, but it was always closed. And then he's like, and See, then that's it, what I said. And then he's like, then it was like everything was covered. He's like, I think the guy who like was owning it last like lived here, oh, and that eventually shit. they just like locked him out. <laughs> so when we came in here, like all this stuff is here. It's like literally we're like, dude, this stuff you use in your home, like. You know what I mean? So, like, it made more when the health inspector told me that. I was like, that makes I think, sense. He, I think he really was living here. Like, I was like, that sucks. Like, what? A, it was a real shitty yeah. situation, you know, but no condoms. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Oh. But I mean, I mean, but I mean, there's a right way to run a business and a wrong way. Yeah. You know, so like, literally, there was like 20 of these little like notepads laying everywhere. And it's like, that was his interview book or something. Like, it literally had a name, a number, and it's like, this guy used to wash dishes. And then, like, also there was, like, I guess recipes for their menu items, and it's just, like, ingredients, but no, like, uh, you know, no technique, like, yeah, what no, to do, when to no add organization what. with anything. Yeah, it was so just I'm just, even just reading from that, like, those little notes, I'm like, man, not, like, this guy was, like, shooting from the hip hard, like, oh, like, he had great intentions, I guess, but I'm like, he just didn't, didn't know, know what to what. do, yeah, like, and I was like, man, this sucks. You know, like, I felt bad, but I was like, I mean, his loss, but we, you know, it's better for us. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, because you're in a badass location, too. Like, oh, everybody bro. passes by here. Like, you yes. go to the back, Jesus. You go to the, the hotel next door, Jesus. <laughs> you go uh, take a dump uh, at CVS, Jesus. You go to your crackhead, but person in the alley, Jesus. Jesus. You want to have some alley fun, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> bro, and I think we messed up all the, there, there used to be a, a gang of uh, oh, I guess missed, homeless you missed people. someone's territory here. I guess like they would hang out here, or get like wasted here, or something like. <laughs> but we're oh we're, <laughs> we're here when the other operators aren't. You know, yeah. I'm here before them. I'm here on the weekends doing prep. So literally, like uh, one of the what, like two weeks ago or the week we, we were opening, uh, a friend of mine had come by. I was doing prep back there. He's all waving at me from the window. So I let him in, and I'm showing him a little, you know, I'm like, yo, this is all this. So I was like, I could park right here. So I'm opening my back door, and I'm pushing it, and it feels like, you know, when the door, when the hinges are, like, bent? Yeah. Like, it's like, oh, something's off. So I'm, like, really forcing it open. I'm like, something's wrong with this door. Well, right outside the door is, like, the power box. So, like, the door can only open 90 degrees. I didn't know I was crushing some dude between the power box <laughs> and the door. Dude, no lie. And I'm, like, pushing. I was like, something's wrong with the door, Joseph. You know, and he's like, yeah, what's up? And then you hear someone, hey, kick back, kick back, bro. You know, I'm like, oh, shit. So I was like, damn, because our door was messed up. I was like, I hope that wasn't the guy fixing the lock. And I'm, like, fucking him up out here. So I, like, I run around, and this guy's, like, so wasted. And I'm like, hey, man, are you okay? He's like, I'm leaving, bro. I said I'm leaving. And I was like, no, man, like, sit down, like. No, you don't have to go anywhere. Like, I'm sorry, dude. I didn't know you were, you know, on this door. He's like, bro, I said, I'm sorry. I said, I'm leaving. I'm like, whoa, this guy is fucked up. <laughs> but, like, whatever, he takes off. And then, like, maybe, like, an hour later, he's coming back, and he's all, like, walking down the sidewalk, dropping all his drinks, like, stumbling. <laughs> and then he's about to turn back down the alley, and then Kenny, the other owner, like, pulls in, and this dude sees him and just, like, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, oh, I was like, shit. damn, this is this guy's spot. Like, we're fucking his day up. Like, <laughs> this is where he gets, like, wasted and, like, and no one fucks with him. I'm like, damn. So yeah, literally, like, has a stoop. Yeah, every day I show up, like, I park over here and, like, two people hop out of those bushes right there, like, right here in the Wells Fargo. This is, like, it goes in. Like, it's weird. There's little, like, spots there. Yeah. Like, you could be also, out of, like, vision. there and you're asking for it. Yeah, so I'm just like, this is so weird right Damn, here. Damn, you guys like, jacked up the spot for people. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> like, because nothing was here. Like, That's... everyone was, even right here, like, everyone who goes to the ATM, they park here. You know, and they go there, and it's like, now I'm here, and, like, they see the lights on, they park, and they're like, oh, shit, they just, like, take yeah. I'm like, I don't care, man. Like, I'm it's, just it's, job. it's <laughs> 8 in the morning. We're not open yet. Like, whatever. You do your thing, but they, like, I they guess the people, the, some of the other business owners, like, chased everyone off, like, hardcore. So, uh... <laughs> I'm pretty sure the ramen guy didn't. <laughs> no, he was not. They were probably working for him. It was probably, he was yeah. like, 
They actually used to hang out in the spot. Probably, <laughs> probably. That's what they're all upset. Like once they saw the lights back on, they're like, "Oh, it's back!" And they're like, "Oh, it's these guys." <laughs> like it's not the. Re- <laughs> they're not cool. Like. <laughs> oh, shit, man. Yeah. That's funny. So, what was the idea that got you guys? I guess the cheeses itself. Like, what? How did that come about? Like, not the restaurant, not the food truck, but like, what made you like? I'm, this is what I'm gonna focus on in terms of my menu and all that kind of stuff. Originally, Kenny bought the truck with this guy Angel, which okay. is a good friend of his. Um, and then they had bought the food truck. I had nothing to do with it. They knew I was a chef, and they were like, "Hey, man, we bought a food truck. Like, w- could you come up with like a concept for us?" I was like, "Yeah, man." So I, I, I had like five or six concepts. I was like, "Oh, you know, we could do like literally like oh an Asian one with dim sum. We could do a barbecue one. You know, like a burger one. Like, you know, just those were the trends at the time." And then one of them was a grilled cheese one, and that was the first one I told them about. And they were like, "That we're doing that. Like, go with that." I was like, "But I got other stuff." And they're like, "We don't no, care." No, fuck you, dude. Yeah. Because <laughs> at the time we were making a, I still want to try to get it on this menu, but I was doing um. Like, you know, mozzarella sticks, but I was yeah. doing cheddar cheese, and I was breading them in Flaming Hot Cheetos. We had no. this conversation at the time. So it's like, like that, you know, there was, like, different stuff I was working on, but it's like, you know, like, things change, you know, it's like, so, I mean, that, like, there's still other ideas that we still want to implement here. Like, we have our core menu, but it's like we want to do, like, monthly specials or whatever. So, like, literally just from... Like, Kenny wanting, like, yeah, we're doing that. Like, I had to think of, you know, we had other sandwich, like, a whole bunch of different things we don't even do anymore, but we could bring back. But that's literally where the cheeses idea came from. Okay. And even the name, like, we didn't even have a name. Like, they liked the grilled cheese concept. And me, when I was thinking of a name, I was like, you should call it the greatest, like a cheese grater. Yeah. yeah, And Kenny was like, nah, that's being too, like, too arrogant or whatever. And then I was like, Jesus? Sounds like Jesus, bro. You're literally saying we're like, yeah. we're saving everybody. <laughs> well, we like, are. The, we the are. greatest wasn't we arrogant are. enough. Like, I don't understand. Like, <laughs> like, but yeah, man. So it's like, and that's how the name I came mean, about. Hey, after a long weekend of, you know, binging on the seat, on the street in the bushes, you need something to save you. <laughs> yeah. 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 Cheese in, in your life. life. So literally that's. Cheese in your life. And then God raises up, crashes into a, into a <laughs> electric <laughs> box, and there's your savior, dude. There's your savior. <laughs> you should have a toaster with just Jesus face <laughs> Well, I want to get a Buddy Christ poster or statue nice. for the kitchen. Like, Kenny was like, why? I'm like, because it's Jesus. It's Jesus. You know, it's like, yeah. wouldn't it be cool you walk in here and you look in the kitchen, Buddy Christ, like, you know, just greeting you. I'm like, that's badass, you know. But they're expensive. I was looking them up. I'm like, they're How much are they? Like, four grand. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus. Dude, what the like, fuck? for a licensed one, you know what I mean? Uh, like, okay. I don't want no bootleg shit. I was saying, man, I'm sure you go to the slot me and find one. Well, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I want the real deal, you know go what I mean? Like, 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 <laughs> fucking market downtown, and you'll be like, oh, shit, there it is. Maybe the guy that used to work, run this place probably knows where you can get a good one, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm totally at least a good one. He's over there making them now. <laughs> Yeah, and even with that, like, it was a grilled cheese concept, but, I mean, even when we were talking about a restaurant before, we were talking about, like, I was, like, in my mind, I was like, oh, everything has cheese, man. Like, everything is cheese-related. Like, on the same menu, I don't understand why you can't have enchiladas and quesadillas, like, right along with, like, Philly cheesesteaks and, like, fucking pizza, you know, and then, like, chicken parmesan or, like, uh, you know... The steak tan pequeña, it's got the, the cheese and the chile. You know what I mean? Like, there's yeah, so much <laughs> there's so much cheese out there in the world. You know what I mean? So I was like, well, where to stop? You know, it's so hard to just, like, okay, just this, one. this is what we're going to do. Like, because, yeah. like, there's so much involved with cheese. Like, the the rest of the world goes crazy. There's this one thing I want to do called a rocolette. And it's, like, literally they get, like, a cheese wheel, like, half a cheese wheel, <gasps> and put it under, like, this broiler. And, and it melts it. it off, and then right? they, like... Bring it to your table, and whatever dish you have, they just like scrape the fresh ass melted cheese like right on top. Oh shit! Yeah, you know what it is of your dish. Just, yeah, man, so. I've known about this for like uh, forever. Like that's when I first started getting into it and researching what I could do for the menu. That popped out, and I was like, "What is this? Like, why haven't I seen this here? Like, that's the shit." <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> but I mean, but that's something we could like look into. But I mean, it'd have to be like, you know, when everything scale, is yeah. more social and everything. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Because that thing's a little bit of a. You yeah, know, it'd be cool to have it. We're so small. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, hey, you know, maybe in a bigger spot or say we were doing an event outside or something like that. That'd be fucking cool. I, I think, mean, that'd be cool know, for, like, a special special event type deal. If you guys oh, yeah. are all doing, like, a one-time thing, like, we got this specific thing, that'd be cool to promote like yeah. that. That'd be dope. Yeah. So, I mean, like, it's just, there's like I said, it's just 
the more I research it, I'm like, dude, everyone's like, even Pinterest. Like, if you think you have an idea about something for some reason, Pinterest, Pinterest, Pinterest. yeah, there's someone out there who already made it, and they're like, here's the recipe, here's the technique, here's how to do it. Like, and you're like, damn, I thought I was being original and shit. And it's like, nah, man, you're not the only one who gets high. Like, you know, it's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like you know, everybody, people got the same. Bro, you're not the only idea. one who's seen the grilled Jesus in your life. Yeah. Also, man. So it's like, you know, it's cool, but it, it's fun. You know, it's, yeah. it's like so some foodie came by. Like on Instagram, like brought some people, but like his, I was telling Kenny, I was like, did you read like what he said about us? He's like, nah, I was like, it's super cool. He called us uh, like a fast food comfort food place. And I was like, that's what I was trying to do. Like, it's kind of hard to like get food that takes hours or days to make in a reasonable amount of time. You know what I mean? So that's what I was trying to create with this menu. Like, you know, so like the lobster bisque, you know, I got to make it on my day off because there's no way like I can make it the day. It takes like three hours. You know <laughs> oh, what I mean? shit. Yeah. So it's like you can come and get a bisque here that I make like we make it. I try to yeah. make as much of the food as I can. You know what I mean? If I if I had a bakery in there, I'd bake my own bread, too. You know, if I could. But it's you know, I'm limited to what I got. So as far as what I can what we can make from scratch, we try to keep it as, you know, like from scratch as we can, because then we're controlling everything that goes into it. You know, we're not. You know, it doesn't come out of a can or a bag. It's not full of like all those hidden like saturated fats and all that stuff. You know, it's like oh, literally that's a good shit. <laughs> just it is, but it's like you know, fresh food. Like you know, when you get fresh food, yeah, yeah, yeah. like it's just different. Like it just hits different. Like you know what I mean? So it's like a lot of people that have been coming. Like that's the comments I've been hearing too. They're like, "Oh man, you made this?" Or like, "You baked it? You baked this, right?" Like, and it's like, the, it's like, yeah, you can taste the difference, right? And it's like that's what I'm trying to do. Like. To show people too, it's like, like no, I fun your Keith. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that's like the most difficult thing on your menu that you gotta like to make or? Nah, it's the red velvet brownies. Those are kind of a task. What the fuck? Oh yeah, we got these red velvet like cream cheese brownies. Everything's uh, got cheese in it. I, like, yeah, you know, I, I can tell, but I'm just like. It's a combination I, of a cheesecake and a brownie, right in the middle. I, oh, fuck <sighs> <Sounds> amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like I'm Slam trying, silly. like I'm trying to do something different, but still. Recognizable, yeah. you know what I mean, and also yeah, with cheese, like uh, so it's fun, you know, get to play with food. So if you okay. don't like cheese, don't come by, guys. <laughs> well, no, you can always get the vegan cheese sauce. It's a yeah. uh, and we have salads too, the soup. <laughs> we have, yeah. But we the salad has salads. cheese, <laughs> not the garden. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one, we can make it without cheese. So. Can yeah. a chicken, bacon, whatever. Uh, if even you go to the restroom, he has cheese. So like what? We, we even had a table coming, and it's like uh, it was a four top. And one of the women, like, she ordered her, her sandwich, and she didn't want to eat cheese. She was like, I'm sorry, I don't eat cheese, but I wanted to come and eat with my friends. Oh, and yeah. it's like, that's fine. It's like, you don't have to get cheese. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you can get whatever you want. Like, I don't know. We're not one of those places where it's like, no, nah, you got to buy what we have, or that's it. Do you guys want to know a fun fact? I'm lactose intolerant, like heavy. So I cannot <laughs> eat 90% of my menu. So uh, Damn, man. if you come by, it's like the restroom is occupied. It's just George. It's just, yeah. Like, had, dude, he, he ate here. Try dude. Any yeah. the it's like, you, know like, how you know how dedicated he is to the content? He can't even eat anything that's on his own menu. That's, that's how humble I am, dude. That's how humble he is. He tries everything, and he's like eating it. And I'm like, I thought you couldn't have cheese. Right, like, I know, but I got to like, taste it. And he goes back to like our sponsor, Gaza, the owner of Old Cheap Duck. He's allergic to hops. Oh man, that and he sucks. makes beer. Yeah, but bro. it's it's hilarious. Like, and it, when he told me, it's like it makes sense. When we made our beer, like he never touched the hops. He put it like he measures everything on cups. It's like, what the fuck? And when he was like, yeah, I'm gonna let you do hops. It's like, but hey man, beer. that's how things are. That's how the best <laughs> things in life are. You always want what you can't have. Yeah, beer, and also he didn't have the sense of smell for years. Maybe he had COVID first. Dang. Patient zero. Patient zero. Yeah. Damn it, Gus. <laughs> but I guess beer feels good. <laughs> I'm intolerant to lactose. I'm not intolerant to money, so. Uh, I like you said. Oh, oh, yeah. He's, intolerant. He's drinking our beer, which has lactose. <laughs> oh, thank God we stopped every 25 minutes. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. I thought that was like, oh, fuck. Did we tell him that it has lactose? <laughs> Also, if you guys stop by Old Cheap Duck, Six Feet Under, there's a Comfy Vanilla Porter with lactose. It's actually really good, dude. This is what I'm <laughs> drinking right now. Sh shameless <laughs> it's plug. Really good. Shameless plug, but just so you guys know, it has lactose. So if there's a smell, I apologize. <laughs> hey, man, it's okay. I have smells coming out of me all the time. I don't want to talk about it. Uh, I get my share. Fuck. <laughs> 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 but then, uh, so you can eat pretty much nothing on the menu. No. I mean, I can. But what's your favorite thing? Like, when you're like, oh, fuck it, I'm gonna get, like, I'm, I don't care, I'm gonna get sick, I'm gonna eat that shit from my own place. I always take the mac and cheese from here, for, um, <laughs> oh, at the end of the shift. 
<laughs> like the one For thing that's more cheese. That thing is hardcore. Yeah, it's got like aged cheddar and pecorino romano, like strong cheeses. You know what I mean? I damn it. Damn, kind of hard now. Yeah, <laughs> but I need I need to eat it at home. <laughs> well, yeah, on the toilet. Yeah, like that's the only time George shoots backwards on the toilet. Like he sits at the opposite, so he can have the hey. fucking tank as his. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's how they're supposed to be used. <laughs> that's oh, what I read too. That we've actually been using them wrong our entire lives. Yeah, so that's why I can't have breakfast. That's why they're there so you can read your magazines while you're doing yeah. all that. Yeah. It's your cereal. I don't know your Lucky Charms in the morning. Ain't not gonna be lucky anymore. But <laughs> I don't know about all that, man. But <laughs> hey. Bunk pizza in the toilet. We had a a, a pee break, <laughs> a poop break, or I don't know. George. Sorry, guys. We got to take care of the lactose, man. We got to take care of the lactose. <laughs> we forgot. We forgot. Forgot. So from your menu, what is your favorite thing on here? I'm oh, looking Jesus at it, man. I'm like, I don't even know how you could pick a favorite thing. There's a lot of Did sounding I, good stuff oh, on here. Oh, never had their food. I right? haven't had it, no. I had, I had your baby Jesus. Free fire. I had the, the fries with the toriado when you guys did it. At I'm intrigued by the fancy pants. That's a real popular one. The fancy like, pants, really? yeah. People like that. It's real. It's real. Yeah, it's got a lot of different flavors on it, especially like those caramelized onions I make, like Dude, caramelized onions with the shit. bacon and that gouda and then the apricot oh, yeah, or yeah. the fig jam. Excuse me. Like it's pretty good. And then the toriado too. Yeah. Like it's it's just different levels of like you know just flavor. You know, like, it's got it all on that one. That's so what I people, feel like. I feel like I will see grilled cheeses if that if that happens right there. And then you will cry because you're not a spicy guy. <laughs> Some people like putting a burger patty in it too. Oh, yeah. oh, and, we like also, and we also have the, the beef patties that we make it with chorizo, like we combine them. Oh, do you really? Yeah, the chorizo is like mixed with the ground beef. So you can always get it. Like, you have to get it like well done, right? No matter what. Oh, yeah. Pretty much cooked all the way through. Yeah, like yeah. If, we were, if we were the grinding our own meat, you could get it, you know, oh, yeah. whatever, but we're not. So like, I grind my own meat. Dude, that's a different thing. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I grind his meat. <laughs> hey, you don't know what I do on Sundays? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you do on Sundays. Yeah. Thank you, old cheap dog. <laughs> what do I have to do? Uh, I just, oh, I just clip it like. <laughs> listen, to th- listen to this. Damn, that's sexy all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's cause, so, I fucked up, guys. Not gonna like no, it's cause, so uh, it's because I feel we filled our own cans, and whenever I had to fill them for the show, I go a little way too high. <laughs> it's because Alex filled it. Oh, so yeah. this is Alex's fault. So, That's okay. Alex's fault. Yeah. yeah. So don't feel bad. It's okay. That's yeah. okay. It's I mark you in your clothes. This is this is your version the of, of the bartender pants, giving you an extra on the shot, like an extra half an ounce on the shot. This is your <laughs> version of it. Dude. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Oh, You'll thank me later. Who could have? You'll thank me later. Like what? <laughs> don't worry about it. Thank me later. <laughs> And the fries uh, are good too. People really like the, the Cali fries. The dude, I read the menu. I'm Just really, read it out. I'm really, I'm really, I'm really intrigued. Know. I'm very intrigued by the menu. I'm telling but, you. Okay, why fancy pants though? Uh, the- Just you know, trying to be condescending any oh, any yeah. way I can. Especially like people see it and they're like, oh, I love it. And I'm like, I'm talking shit to you. <laughs> <laughs> also, your pants mean shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, like fancy pants, it's like, I guess, an older American term. Oh, like, yeah, you know, right. fan, you know, someone who's all like uppity, like, oh, like, you know, it's like, oh, I'm not going to use that. Right? I don't use public restrooms. You know, like, oh, sorry, fancy pants. You know what I mean? So it's like, fucking <laughs> cake. <laughs> the item I had, <laughs> I so guess. It's like something that someone's coming to eat, like uh, comfort uh, food, and they get like the. Fancy thing on the menu, like yeah. oh sorry, fancy. Like someone who doesn't want cheddar cheese in yeah. Texas toast, they're like, excuse me, I don't know what toast. No, I was like, there, then you get sourdough. You know, <laughs> <laughs> hey. I don't okay. know why you wouldn't like Texas toast. How can you not like Texas toast? Uh, your bitch. Say that we got. Oh, yeah. sorry. <laughs> I mean, we uh, respect you. Corrected on post. Should corrected should on post. Did you believe that? <laughs> Damn it, and even, even, <laughs> even the vegan uh, fries, like with that, it's the same sauce we use for the vegan mac and cheese. But did you guys make your own vegan mac and like vegan sauce? I make the it? vegan sauce. Yeah, it's all soy based. Yeah. Oh sh. Like it uses tofu and soy sauce and yeah. uh, nutritional yeast. Oh, okay. Yeah, because um, I've been to like oil. multiple vegan pl- and they're they're cheap ass. Like they buy it somewhere and it's still. I'm like, they're like, like yeah. you're a vegan place and you don't make your own cheese and it just tastes like. A butthole, like not even a good butt, like a dirty ass butthole. And it's like I like this one because of the flavor profile mainly. I mean, the texture could be a little better, but it's still like I don't know. To me, it's like if you didn't know it was vegan, you'd probably be like, "Damn, it was a good cheese." Like it looks like a cheese sauce. It's weird. <laughs> like the first time I made it, because it's hard to decide on one. Because I mean, there's like cashew yeah. sauces. You could use almond. Like there's there's all sorts of different ways to do it to make it thick, to make it like look like a sauce. 
And this one was just like, you just throw everything in a blender. You know what I mean? You could just heat it up or eat it cold. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm actually very proud of that. But now that you mention it, like, this is not a vegan restaurant, but we make our own vegan shit. And by we, yeah. I mean him. <laughs> <laughs> we make it all. Well, I mean, we, I mean him. <laughs> We're him. Uh, I, I'm just in the back. Like, I'm like, just in the back. I'm a back, bro. <laughs> I'm a, they own me, so technically, yeah, he made it. <laughs> oh, you, oh, you own him, so you he's the owner. owner. <laughs> yeah, no, but like you know, he, he's the owner. You. It's made here, so technically he yeah. had some part in making yeah. it. Yeah, because it wouldn't have been made if, if he didn't. Yeah. Exactly. See, the, the coin goes he. back to it. But you see, my humbleness, like, is he weak? But then I immediately say him. Point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we him. Him. Humble as fuck. <laughs> we <laughs> him, but the money still went to his pocket. <laughs> like right here. <laughs> it's safe. I like it when you touch me like that. <laughs> I like it when you touch my pockets. What? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> my pockets. Oh, I'm try, trying oh, to be a God. PG 13. This is not a PG 13 show. No, it's not. Yeah, because my dream is like, I'm going to bring it back up. One of my dreams is like, where like someone's watching or listening to a podcast and like where the background noise as they're banging. It's like, yeah, that's your dream? <laughs> yeah. You, you want to be the Netflix show that says, are you still watching? No, like, you're still listening, but... <laughs> but, but, but you know what would be the best, though? If they were to do it right as you're starting, right when you do that. Ah, and they go... Ah. Yeah. yeah. Mande, señor. ¿Con quién le puedo ayudar? Yeah, like, if you guys don't know, we're actually, like, yeah, we're for those listeners that are not watching, you should be really we're at the actual this restaurant. Yesterday. There's a man window shopping with us right now. Yeah. That's and pretty I good. He seems intrigued. I think he's picking Goddard as uh, his selection. <laughs> he's asking if we're open. I don't know. No, we're, we're, we're close. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you can listen to them. He's all talking to me I'm like dude Talk to them Don't talk to me I don't know <laughs> I don't own it I mean yeah We're clearly sitting here Doing something other than cooking food So I'm like Yeah I guess I'm like, like oh, Hold on I got you bro yeah. <laughs> You want a fancy pen bro <laughs> It happens Like when we recorded At Craft and Social Like we had people Like coming Like are you guys open Like yeah We're just recording In like in the middle of the shift But Like cool yes, Come back <laughs> like, we don't care. Hey, man. Step in. What you do, do what you got to do. Um, so, is there anything that didn't make this menu when you were making it that you guys were just ultimately like, you know what? It's just not going to work or it's not going to be on there. Yeah. Pickled testicles. What? Well, I mean, I had a bunch more sandwiches, but it's like, Too like I said, sandwiches? it's a space. Like, uh, but there was different ones. Like, I had a Mexican grilled cheese where I was using, like, bolillo <laughs> roll and chorizo and monster cheese. Like, you know what I mean? Trying yeah. to keep, like... That's but I mean, everybody like, everybody does run on that shit. It's hilarious. Oh, they're afraid of it, bro. They all think they're going to die. <laughs> oh, that little thing right there? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't go very deep either. It's like three or four feet. Sorry. <laughs> I think it's like, I saw the guy running. It was like, hey, wait. <laughs> but yeah. but that and then... Should uh, be running away for something, too? Well, what the I wish fuck? we had more room, like, stovetops, too, because, like, I wanted to do, like, more mac and cheese bowls. Oh, okay. Like, uh, there was one, one I, I was reading about, like, they call it a trailer park mac and cheese. And I guess it has, like, cut up weenie in it and, like, uh, broken up, like, Lay's potato chips on top. Dude. You know what I mean? Like uh, That yeah. shit smacks, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, like, I was reading with Lay's potato chips. I'm like, I was like, yeah. <laughs> there's, like, there's just a ton of different ideas out there about, like, what people do, man. So it's just like, oh, well, what? You know, it's, it's cool to have, like, a lot of variety. You should make, but, like, a breakfast mac and cheese bowl. I'm just saying. That's what I always tell Kenny because, like, I'll make us sandwiches or whatever with eggs on yeah. it. And I'm like, see, we could do breakfast sandwiches. Yeah, like, dude. I was like, oh, <laughs> there's even a breakfast mac you could do. Like, we could put a fried egg on it and yeah. shit. Like, yeah, you just put a fried egg on it. I'm like, telling you. The discada one with egg on it would be bomb. Oh, oh, that, shit would be, that shit would be delicious for sure. Yep. Don't steal this. Don't worry. We're, <laughs> we're thinking about it. We already know what we're going to do, like, when the time comes. Yeah, because <laughs> right now you guys are only open for, like, 10 to 3. So, uh, 11 to 3. Tuesday, Tuesdays to Fridays, 11 to 3 p.m. Then Saturdays, this guy, this next Saturday is gonna be the first one we start open, and we're gonna do 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. I know what I'm doing. For all that Saturday. crowd that cannot come during the week, got you. All the city employees, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, like downtown. 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 I know. <laughs> <laughs> like I was telling him, I sent my assistant over here to get food. She only bought food for herself. See, he's not humble. He says, <laughs> I was sending my assistant over uh, here to get yeah. food. <laughs> I want people to know I have an assistant. <laughs> we, we that was it. the whole point of that sentence. That's he why wants like... people to know he has an assistant. <laughs> Does she do a good job? Mm, I don't know. 
Can she be replaced? Uh, call me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. She didn't bring me food? <laughs> That's going straight to HR. <laughs> what HR? I'm HR. I'm HR. I'm, HR. <laughs> I'm not HR. Guys. I don't. <laughs> nah, if we had HR, the company was like, I would have been fired way too long ago. <laughs> Showed up with no pants. But. Business casual. <laughs> <laughs> I still had a blazer on. I'm saying. <laughs> You were pulling the whole Zoom Zoom call 2020 thing before it was even a thing? Yeah. Yeah. I was just showing up to on the, the On the meeting with no pants. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn, cheese is drunk already. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, bro. I'm high off the thought of all this cheese. <laughs> that's amazing. Um, Addy, that's dope. So, what's with this artwork back here? This I'm actually going to... This is really fucking cool. Yeah. Shout out to Hugo. His name is... His artist's name is Hoyote. He did that. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, he did both. Like for the people that are looking at this in video, this is one. But we we'll need to put pictures, we'll put then, pictures uh, up right here. Yeah. If you see that one over there, there's another yellow part right below Caesar's head, <laughs> and it's the logo. Uh, but yeah, he did both. And he oh, did an amazing job. <laughs> I can't see that. Way. I don't angle the camera like way. I yeah, did. They're really cool. I actually really like this one a lot. Did Did you guys come up with that? Oh, designer like, uh, asked him to Hugo did yeah he did. yeah you were like, he's like, a, whatever you want he's a really good friend with Kenny so we brought him brought him in from California and yeah yeah it's that's true. that's what he came up with <laughs> like literally still the humbleness we brought <laughs> and, like him he sent it to Kenny and Kenny was like yo this is what he's gonna do and I was like that's fucking bad ass yeah. like <laughs> and you're like can you pay my card dude? like quite honestly it's a dragon right we don't it's, know what it is. It's like man. a cheese monster because okay. if you can see, like it has hands like right here. I was yeah. thinking of a rat face. Like, like, it has like something. multiple faces. I like, thought it was like a Chinese dragon, but like with but cheese. Look, look at the nose, though. Yeah, it's like these are like teeth rat? and shit. <laughs> Everything. There's two noses though. Because it Ew. has like, and it looks like it has a nose in the middle that's like a bigger, like if you look oh, at yeah. it from far away. Like his knees and a little bit came out. Like it's almost like different perspectives. Like you see stuff yeah. when you're up close, it looks different when you're far away. I don't know if that was his intention, uh, but, but I, I just think like it's a sweet ass here. mural. Yep. Yeah. The and and like, you're just waiting to hold it. It's, yeah. You need to come and check it out. Take yourself. Yeah, here. come back. Yeah, dude, seriously. I Fucking come Honestly, by. I think that's probably one of the, my favorite ones that I've seen so far in the city. I really like the way it looks. The colors are fucking dope. Well, yeah. Oh, like, yeah. I didn't message you when I was, because uh, uh, I walked sometimes, like, for work and stuff, and then I was like, God damn, like, I was, he was still doing it, and I was like, that shit looks clean from the corner. I was in the corner with the fucking post office. I was like, it's pretty fire. And he <laughs> did you guys uh, the logo one over here, too? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, it's he did both of them, and cheese. yeah. It looks cool. I mean, the whole spot looks dope. The whole everything came out really cool. All the work oh, yeah. put into it. Yeah, Christine Howard was the one who did the the design, Signs. like painted these walls. Like, okay, the, I call well, this. Well, she designed the, the whole concept. The yeah, whole the design. light fixtures, also the tables, like all this. Person. Yeah, like she did all this stuff. Like they both did a great job. Yeah, they're both amazing. Hit them up. They will. They will deliver. Yeah, my, I've been talking have. to Christine so we. I finally invite the house and we had to set up a studio again. It's gonna be our thing. Studio. <laughs> He's like, dude, studio. thanks for letting me know, dude. <laughs> hey, man. I just work here. <laughs> I, like, we're just, we're like, we're that's why I'm like, I just paid. work here. <laughs> we don't get paid. <laughs> I don't get paid. <laughs> but I, that's why I changed uh, my Instagram's uh, bio. <laughs> what did you uh, change it to? To co host and uh, video producer. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I, I try, you know. I try. You can put an audio producer in yours. Audio engineer. And a co host. Producer slash co- audio engineer. Co-host. Are we co owner? We're co owner, right? We co owner? Yeah, right. We co I mean, technically, I would say it's like 5149. You know, I have the stock market exchange, but we'll talk about it later. The hey, hey, lead let, shareholder. Let's, let's focus on Jesus. I don't want to hear this right now, dude. Wait, wait, let's wait, focus wait. on Jesus, dude. I just need to send this to the lawyer. Also. Are you still paying my bail, bud, when I have to get out from prison again? I mean, who else is going to pay it? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> friend for life, right? <laughs> right. Hey, I, I give him those calls all the time. He does. You have to give him on his toes just to know that. It's like, hey. He did like a month ago, and I actually thought it was legit. I was like, fuck, man. <laughs> Shit, okay, I'm and on I, my way. And I, and I did it at the right time. Like they don't when you go to like here to Connie, they don't let you call till like nine AM. So I call him at nine fifteen. <laughs> That's yeah. a good call. I mean, for, you. for you, it wasn't for me. <laughs> hey, I was just confirming. Can times. we now focus on Jesus, please? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to pick a thumb and eat all this cheese. Like, oh shit. <laughs> 
Okay, George. How many I'm like, damn, I thought you were humble as shit. <laughs> how many times have you taken the sheets to the back room? What? Never. <laughs> okay, I was making sure because I don't want to. No, no, no. <laughs> so how long has it been in the process for you guys to open the spot up then? Because you've been, I'm, I've seen like your picture since he's been telling me about it on, like, on Instagram. It's been happening for a while, right? So we started with a pop-up. Shout out to the people at Mona for having us and Benny Franks too. We started with three pop-ups. We Mona. did four pop-ups. Uh, we did two at Mona, one at Benny Franks, and then the last one also at Mona. The first one we sold that. We actually had to send people away. Yeah, I really? went for that because one. it was packed. Bro, they showed there. up like what time did we say we we're gonna be there? Like three or four? We did. No, some... we started. At, the first one was started at five. At okay, Mona. five. Yeah, because okay, yeah. I got there at six, and you're like, oh, and there okay, was. I'm gonna take it to go. Like, there was people like waiting. <laughs> really? Like, yeah, yeah. Like they like. We got slammed. Families like with their kids. They didn't care about. They, they didn't care was in a bar. They just came to like people were going there to eat and leaving. Oh, you know, shit, and I was, like, they, they came crazy. In, yeah. Like they came to Portos and the bar too. Yeah, that's awesome, man. That's yeah, dope. Yeah. And then they went up in France. We sold out too. And the the other ones, we also did great. It did amazing. What's, I think like three of them, we, like three of the four, we sold out completely. And then the last one, the reason we didn't sold out is because we decided we we're gonna do it one day before. So they text me like, "Hey, dude, yeah. tomorrow we have a pop up. Like promote it." I like. Okay, cool, dude. Yeah, sure. <laughs> no, That's but, gonna you, happen. but don't because you also put it on your Instagram. Like, should we do a last pop up? And then the day, like two hours later, it's like, yeah, it's happening. <laughs> yeah. yeah, see, they get drunk and make decisions. Like, hey, man, I'm, I'm the, the one who gets Kenny. called the next That's day, Kenny. like, hey, we're doing this. I'm like, when? Now. No. I'm like, oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the, like when I was setting up, he also was like, yeah, I forgot we're doing this. Like, and then George was like, yeah, so the <laughs> like, yeah, yeah he, bro, he, yes. he agreed to the podcast drunk. Thank you. And we, we didn't sell out on that one, but we did great. We had a really good turnout. But I think because you were more prepared, no? Like you were like, oh yeah, for you, sure. Like, you already I, sold out the three, so you're like, I gotta buy a little extra. Yeah, and it, it's super dope too because everyone who showed up, they weren't just like you know showing up and supporting us. They were taking pictures of the food. They were all like sharing it on all their own, you know, personal pages. Like, so I'm over here in the back, like seeing all this. I'm like, that's badass. Oh wait, that's our food. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's just fucking cool. I just made that. Like, hey, I created that. Dude. It's it's cool when you see something like yeah, you created, it, but it's like it's I don't even know that person sharing it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, that's fucking cool. You know, that's not my mom. That's not my best friend. That's not my sister. That, that's not someone who <laughs> has to be like, yeah, we support Thanks you. Lover. That's great. Yeah, it's like, I don't know who the fuck that is. And they loved it. Like, hell yeah. You know what I mean? So that's been like one of the coolest aspects of this, I guess. So so what's the one menu item that you're like super proud about? Like, they're like, this shit just came out of nowhere and it fucking slaps. Dude, that's pretty much all of them. But <laughs> the, the old cheeses, like. Yeah, which just wasn't like, yeah. Like, literally, I came up with that burger because, like, when we were going to Neon Desert, we had just the classic. Then the Mexican uh, grilled cheese was that one on Bolillo with chorizo and mustard cheese. I was going to say, it's like, is it a quesadilla? Because Mexican yeah, pretty much cheese. what's in it. In a quesadilla, but in a Bolillo roll. Uh, what else? I don't know. We had, like, only five items. Like, I think one of the fries. And then I was like, I was like, oh, we'll do this old cheese burger. And we were, dude, it was ridiculous. I think we were charging, like, 12 bucks at the time or something. Oh, yeah. for that burger, I was like, it'd be cool if we sell, like, five or ten of these, you know, whatever. Nah, bro, like, someone ordered it, everyone saw it, like, I, it. and I felt like shit, because, like, we, we had bought food, like, we it was Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, it was the, one of the three-day ones, it was, like, in 2015, so I buy all this food, me and Kenny, and we're like, yeah, this should cover us the whole weekend. Bro, like, the first night, we sold out, like, by 8.30, and we were supposed <laughs> to have food till 11, oh, shit. and I'm like, fuck, dude, all we got are, like, regular grilled cheese, like, we sold all our burgers, all our fries, like, dude, we were out. And I'm just like, this is fucking crazy. Like, didn't expect yeah. that. You know, like, the tap was right next to us. They had their food truck, and we were like, we More had the busy. biggest lines, you also, know what I mean? busier than the tap? That's a lot to say. If they're buying and, your and, cheese and stuff, as opposed to those nachos, y'all yeah. kill it. I, like, <laughs> I, I just couldn't believe it, man. I was just blown away. But yeah, like, straight up, like, we made her, there's nothing like a grilled cheese, is it? Yeah, but it was just that burger, the old cheeses burger. Like people, like people would come and bring their friends, like on the second day, and it's like, bro, get this burger. Like I could hear him talking, just get this burger. And they're like, nah, I'll just get whatever a regular grilled cheese. And then we'd give that other dude his burger, and the friends like, no, let me change my order, let me get that burger. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it was selling itself. Like the cops were coming to eat there. Like it was, it was just cool. Like we had a what on the Square app it tells you, like when yeah. you got repeat customers or whatever. So <laughs> Kenny was like, yo, we got a three day over here. No. Like you know, some dude just ate a burger every day. <laughs> He came right. to the festival and it's like, fuck yeah, man, badass. Like, thank you. But I felt bad for the people like who got VIP though, because I I don't, you know, apparently someone was 
the food wasn't good. For oh, VIP. Shit. Um, I didn't, I didn't experience it personally. You know I, just, I'll I, say, just heard I feel things. like that always happens a lot of times. Those VIP things, you got to be careful. They miss out on a lot of the yeah. real good stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. so like, like it's yeah. overpriced. I mean, that's yeah. What yeah, I think the only thing you get like that's worth it at the VIP is the massage, and that's it. Yeah. But like we had people coming oh, up oh, okay, with yeah, their, with, they they wanted our food with the <laughs> VIP bench. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, they were like, "Can we get this food?" And we're like, "Oh no, you got to pay for this." Like, but I think Crave was doing the VIP that year. That's why I was like, "Oh man, they're they're supposed to be good." <laughs> um, like they're good, man. To be like, good. I've been there. I used to go to the one up here, like when I lived in Sunset Heights. The first one that opened, bro. The chicken and waffles were fucking. Hey, man, I'll say fire. that. I love their breakfast burger. Gr- oh, that green saying. chili mac and cheese. Wait, wait, more like, than uh, Toro's burger? No, dude. Crave has a breakfast no, Crave. burger. Yeah, but like, uh, more, than Toro, oh, yeah, more than Toro. Oh yeah, more than Toro's. Crave gets down, dude. bro. Totally. Crave gets down. That's why when we're at. You know, Craves doing the VIP and Independent right. Burger and all that. It's like, bro, they got badass food. And then it's like, people are like, yo, can we get your food? I'm like, why? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, you're like, that's how, that's the kind of person I am. I'm like, what? Are like, you but sure? they, You got good food? They, <laughs> Don't like, lie go to that. The, yeah. he, he told I was like, like oh. I was confused first. And then I was like, well, fuck, you got to pay for it. And they're like, oh, cool, we'll buy it. And I'm just like, but why? Like, and more and more people kept coming up. I'm like, what the fuck's happening in VIP? Bro, you're not supposed like, to say why. So I was like, yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> well, I'm concerned. <laughs> what <does he> want? <laughs> you want more? I'll give you more. <laughs> like, does, does your homie make the menu for like, No, he doesn't. But I mean, if it was like sponsored by like, I don't know, like some big, like Olive Garden is VIP and people are like, oh, the VIP food sucks. Fuck yeah. Fuck Olive Garden. You know what I mean? They're corporate. Yeah. Like, I don't care about them, those heartless bastards. Um, <laughs> so it's like, you know, that, like uh, that's when I would be like, oh yeah, hell yeah, my food's better. But it, when it's someone local, someone, you know, yeah, like, the same, yeah, it's like, I'm like, oh, what? No, they got good food. Like, it would be like if someone was like, yo, man, Cheetos fucking suck. I'm like, you gotta be a foreigner. Like, you know what I mean? Like, uh, even if uh, Alex is a foreigner, I then I don't like Cheetos. Hey, you gotta, like even Cheetos, at dude. one moment in your life, it's gotta be good. Whether yeah, you're drunk like, like, or hungover. It, it has to be like, I'm like, yes, but hammer, see, hammer drunk, and I'll get it like once every three years. I'm the same way, but that once every three years is fucking bomb. Like, <laughs> like I, agree. I, I can't. You know, and I, I prefer. <laughs> you know what's funny? I don't really like the tacos there. I prefer like the jumbo hot dog. Yes, oh, yes. dude, the wrong hot dog. You all got excited, <laughs> dude. And then, do get a grilled cheese there. Tell them to give you a fucking cheeseburger, but make it in a grilled cheese. And they've been doing that for years. Dude, like that's how I feel when we go to Lucky's. It's like I want to get a fucking oh, wrong hot fuck dog. Fuck yeah, bro. The Lucky's burger is fire, but then the wrong hot dog. You're like, I'm gonna. That, that bitch. That's where it's at. Sorry. Yeah. I like, actually, you, you know, I'm Stop not saying the, the bad, mic. I gotta tell you. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> but yes, there's other stuff on menus that I don't, you know, I like. I like. You know what I mean? Like, I'm that weird guy who goes to like a steakhouse. I'm like, yeah, they got good shrimp here. Hey man, but <laughs> like, selling out on the first day, that's a good problem to have. Yeah. That's a very good problem to yeah. have. Because then you know you got to fucking hit on your fucking hands and you go okay. next day, like, hey, we got a more food. Buy a double. Hell oh, yeah. We got to stop this one really quick. We're back. <laughs> It took more peace. Stops. And poopus, sorry, guys, again. <laughs> also, that restroom, dude, trash fire. <laughs> Just gotta say, something Clean. we actually notice every time we go somewhere new. We're like, how's the restroom? Right? Like that's like now that you're like that restroom, though. We understand that people in this region judge a facility based the upon restroom? their restroom. Yeah. Hey, man, it's like, pretty like, good judgment, honestly. Like though, yeah. but see, here's here's where I see in the United States. <laughs> Your cook doesn't clean the bathroom. You know what I mean? You have like a porter yeah. or a disher or a busser. Like the person handling your food doesn't handle your shit. Yeah. But well, like yeah. It, right, o- right over the border in Juarez, like if you work in, in a kitchen or something, like you're the cook, the busser, the server, the dishwasher, the trash man, you know, the guy who does the plumbing. Yeah. Like you're literally right. they, the they manager, spend, the owner. <laughs> Like they you do, do everything, every, every job, the you know what I mean? The delivery guy, so like, home, so the, like to me, driver, the accountant. Like, even when I worked at PF Chains, like one time, like, and that's a very, like, it's when it first opened, like, super clean, super professional. And one time, like, I was in the bathroom, and some people went in there, and they're like, oh, look at the state of the bathroom. There's, you know, they were like Mexican nationals. And I just told them, I was like, hey, man, your kids are the one who fucked up the bathroom. We don't keep our bathroom this way. You oh. know what I mean? He was just like, oh. I was like, you want to come in the kitchen? I'll take you in the kitchen. I'm going to go take a tour of the kitchen. I was like, I'm not responsible for the bathroom as a yeah. cook. You know what I mean? Like, I had to let him know. I was like, but come to me. I was like, I literally made him come with me to the kitchen. I was like, check out the kitchen, man. Here's the dish station. And the chef's like, what are you doing? I was like, all oh, this gentleman thought we had a dirty kitchen because of the state of the restroom. And the chef's like, why is the restroom in disarray? Like, literally get someone. He's like, go clean the bathroom. And then he started talking to the customer. And he was like, yeah, come check out her. You know, like, took yeah. them all around. He's like... 
you know, like, and I was like, yeah. So it's like that, but that's the day I learned. I'm like, oh, it's like a, it's like a cultural thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and that's when I, like, I didn't know that's how it worked. You know, I've never worked in Juarez or Mexico or any other spot. Like, I didn't know they used one person for 80 jobs. There is some you know, bar like, in Juarez <laughs> where you can literally take a piss in front of the bar. Yep. Have they? Yeah, it's a urinal. It's still the urinal. Like, there's a trough like, at you, the bar. You're at the bar. This is the bar. All you do is All you need to do is just like, mm-hmm. yep. and that's and all you do. And just take it up. Yep. And Game changer. Why? <laughs> Good thing they don't have to clean the bathrooms, dude. Yeah. <laughs> also, uh, uh, but you tell them, like, oh, yeah, we created the margarita. It's like, I don't want a margarita anymore. <laughs> there's, like, three bars. Let's say they created in, the margarita. <laughs> I think, it, I don't know if there's two in Mexico and one in the U.S. or two in the U.S. and one in Mexico, but they all claim the same thing. We better the margarita. There's a lot of them. And they're like, no, it's because look at this article of this newspaper. And I'm like, dude, that's just an author writing his shit. Like, that doesn't yeah, like, do you anything. Like, like, uh, do you have a U.S. patent marketed in transfer with a U.S. marketing in transfer? Uh, yeah, that, exactly. That's like saying hey, you invented the hamburger. Or like, I invented the sandwich. Like, come the fuck on, bro. Like, no one can claim that. Like, I mean, I invented the hot dog. Not that kind of hot dog. Like, oh, well, thanks, man. Like chili dog. Great invention. <laughs> like chili exactly dog. Are you talking about like chili dog in it or just hot dog in it? No, nah, chili dog in it, bro. Just put it in the box. That's some real shit. That's some real <laughs> shit right there. Is it really Has a little cheese on top. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, no, I, I can't believe we've never been canceled. <laughs> oh, happen. this will do it, dude. It'll, <laughs> happen. It'll happen eventually. What, are you, like two years and still not cancel? Yeah, I guess it's, we had a good run. Hey, if Cheeses is our last show, I said we had a good run. <laughs> yeah, right. We did a four hour show, so yeah, we're cool. If this is our last show, I said we had a horrible run. <laughs> <laughs> we invited those guys, they haven't left, they just live here now. <laughs> Me and Cheeses are just sitting here. You ever see stickers in the window? Is because you know somebody's living here now. Got her. <laughs> Live in my truck. Oh, okay. Probably. <laughs> it's, it's I, was like, totally. I like to camp. You know, I'd be sleeping at the park or whatever. Like, <laughs> I like to look at the stars, you know. <laughs> I go to UTEP, you know, right outside uh, Fox Fine Arts. You know, I'd be kicking it out there, like, up Cardiac Hill. Spinning that, that fucking sculpture. The giant like, sculpture out there. There's a few spots to, to kick it there if you had to. <laughs> yeah. Actually, have yeah, Oh, man. How did I know? So how is it getting an actual, I guess, like, restaurant together as opposed to the food truck do you think it was a challenging process for you guys or was it kind of like well the thing is i wasn't involved in the food truck whatsoever okay so i i really don't know what to say about that but there's one i mean it happened in the middle of covid so was there it were like different harder or like easier? it's harder because then you need to like talk to the landlord like if you're gonna get a place like hey what if covid happens again like because you know there were several relief programs yeah, and stuff yeah, yeah. like that to yeah that's actually the reason we didn't took the other place because the guy wanted like if you want one month free rent you have to extend your year your contract by one year if you want two months free rent you have to extend your contract by two years uh, if you want three months you have to do three years I was like so that's fucked know, up uh, dude that's actually illegal to do oh oh this place also had nothing but uh what was it like other appliances were electric right yeah it was electric but all so you dude. had to pay for was the electric. That's why. That's he why I avoided water and gas. That's why well, yeah. I avoided mentioning the name earlier. But I mean, if you're from El Paso, you know what place I'm talking about. Yeah. But yeah, it was not the right call. Like there, that dude's taking advantage of people's ignorance. You know I mean, know, which isn't cool. Dude. Like fuck. That I know that, that's Trump supporter. The, the guy. <laughs> I, that's all I have to say, dude. <laughs> I gotta go throw that's all rocks you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> Like every time you guys pass by, you throw a little rock <laughs> or a penny. I just spit Fuck on the you. door. <laughs> I just spit on the door. Or if I if you leave here, no, I wouldn't do that. That's a terrorist. Just leave a little Mexico flag. Sorry, yeah. I got, I just, everybody got distracted. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. Everybody's looking. Don't get distracted. <laughs> Let's, Let's, focus. Focus. Let's get... focus. on Jesus, guys. <laughs> They're like, oh my god, look at that bird. As far as the <laughs> opening, I think that was the only like hard part. Yeah. Like as far, logistically, like as far as setting up an infrastructure to run the business, like I've been cooking for 21 years. I've opened like I don't know like 13 corporate restaurants. Like I've worked at a lot of places. I still culinary student 2000. You know, and then Kenny's been doing front of the house shit for as long as I've known him. Like I met him at P of Chains. You know, he's been managing and all that. So like as far as us setting up, like. 
I guess what we're going to do as far as, uh, you know, like our order of operations or what we expect, our level of, you know, customer service, like we already had that set. Like we yeah. both kind of meet eye to eye. That's why he trips out when we're together. He's like, damn, you and Kenny both got OCD back. You know what I mean? Because like Kenny, the yeah, like right the way now. Kenny has his shit up there, I'm the same about my shit back there. Which is great because you know? that's yeah. how I still be in the kitchen. But I don't freak out. I used to be real mean and stuff, but now I'm like super cool. But poor George, like Kenny already scared him. Yeah, so because like he was. So, just... so, so, fun fact: <laughs> the first time I met Gutter, the chef, it was at the first pop up. We have never <laughs> talked before. Oh really? What? We have never. Like, also, I a... added him on Instagram one day before, and I was like, "Hey, dude, I'm George." I'm, I'm... Oh, he writes like, "Hey, boy, I'm, I'm your coworker," and I'm just like. Cool. I'm sitting next to my little sister. I'm like, this is one of the owners. <laughs> and he's calling me his coworker and he's saying, hey, boy. I was like, we're going to party. <laughs> <laughs> what, also, that, which is funny because that's also like when you did the, when you guys did the first pop up, that's when we were like starting to set up the whole podcast thing. Yeah. But last, and I was like, uh, I had to ask God, or he's like, oh, so you met him like, now I know. Like, it took so long. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just met him like. Last yeah. yesterday, Literally, last night, bro. Yeah. Not I even know what he looked just, like. No, no, yeah, I just knew like his name was George, and I'm like, okay, and that he was from so, Mexico City. That's all I knew about him. Like, <laughs> I guess, like, I guess I've met you before. <laughs> And uh, yeah, like I, I I met him like in person the next day. I was like, I don't know, because on his Instagram he only has pictures of food. So I was trying like. Like what the fuck? Like who should I look for? You're on the parking lot. There's one picture of me. It's at the very bottom. But yeah, it's on the food he, dots. He went. Uh, he went. He went. A uh, crazy ex girlfriend looking into like. He walked in. It's like, do you guys recognize this man? Dude, that's a grilled cheese. Exactly. Do you recognize this? <laughs> <one? laughs> Did I fucking this? stutter? Who Do you recognize this man? <laughs> Who made this shit? <laughs> what? Oh, shit? Yeah, and then the next day, like coincidentally, we both park in the front of Mona. And uh, I see this big truck, and I see a truck with a sticker of cheeses, and like that has to be Gutter. <laughs> and then I saw this guy coming out, like, "Hey, what's up? he's like Gutter." <laughs> well, George, like, yeah. <laughs> and then I just made out. It was weird. We're gonna do a pop up right here. Yeah, dude. You we worked together. Making, you started getting making out and everything. It Almost. Close. It was. It was close. <laughs> yeah. Not the right song. If he hadn't had the haircut then, but, uh, you know, he looked like shit. Oh, no, I thought dead. it was a song. <laughs> like, he was like, "Oh, no, that song doesn't feel right." Oh, it does feel Did right, you baby. hear music? I thought I was the only one, dude. No. <laughs> Should have taken my chance. <laughs> I would have been getting paid more. <laughs> yeah, but straight up, like, we met, like, talked to each other two sentences one day before the first pop-up when we sold out, and then met each other the next day. Did you know? Did you know right then and there? Like, yes, this is gonna work. This is a yeah. match made oh, in heaven. He well, scared. the reason I mentioned this is because you, you guys, you were saying that Kenny scared me because uh, I asked Kenny like, "Hey, what does what's Gutter like? Like, what's up? Like, yo, he used to be a straight up psycho, dude. And I'm he not was like, dude, shit. straight up, be careful with him. Just, like, <laughs> <laughs> and then I met this guy like, oh, he's super chill, dude. And he told me like, no, I've changed. Like, I've really changed. I'm like. Bro, well, like, thank God, dude. I, I was fucking scared. I'm the kind of person, like, I don't care if you're six or 60, if you disrespect me on site, motherfucker. Like, I don't, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, you think you got those balls? Like, I used to be that guy. Like, I didn't give a shit. And now I'm like, like, straight up, who re- like, you want to go? Yeah. Like, you're, like, yeah. You're, like, you're like the guy from those <laughs> meme videos where it's like a little baby. He's like, hey, bro, check hey, your baby. Hey, Why are you fucking hey. staring at me, bro? <laughs> right? Check your boy, dude. Check, you got <laughs> check your boy. Like, <laughs> dude, like, literally, like, just, everything to me was disrespect. I don't know, like, I, well, I mean, to, Top it off, I have a severe Tourette syndrome and like okay. really bad OCD. And then I have mild Asperger's. So like I have like a, you know, a, what's that shit called? <laughs> I don't know. Everyone's got it now. They're on the Indeed. spectrum. Oh, Thanks. autism. Uh, oh, autism. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm autistic. Um, so yeah, like it makes, well, but I didn't get diagnosed to like, I don't know. I was like, I don't know, my late 20s, like 28 or 29. So, like, I literally yeah, yeah. lived my whole life, like, in this Without state. <laughs> and with everyone being like, you're normal. And I'm like, I'm clearly not fucking normal. Like, you know, I flip the fuck out. Like, I do weird shit. Like, Back once, in the day, you were normal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but once I finally got diagnosed, I'm like, oh, this makes sense. It's like, oh, that's why I don't give a fuck about what people say to me. Or, like, like literally, Asperger's, like, I have an inability to, like, you could come and be like, dude, I'm so sad. My mom just died. And I'm going to be like, damn, that cool, sucks. <laughs> but I don't feel anything. Yeah. I'm just like, dude. But I'm like, I'm aware of it. So it sucks because I'm like, why don't I feel anything? I guess I'm just a piece of shit. Like, you know, it's like a total mind fuck. You know, so, like, the way I would, like, when it was my food and I would cook it, you know, if someone did anything to inhibit it going out to the table, perfect. Like, I, I made it. Like, yo, I'd lose my You'd shit. You'd lose it? Yeah, like, bad. Like, it was crazy. 
Like, I don't know. If, I feel sorry for all the people that had to work for me while I was in that. <laughs> but, I mean, that was the thing. Like, I was so good at my job. Like, I was so good at executing this. Like, you know, I'm just good at what I do. Like, this is my passion, you know? So it's like the, sh- the chefs, the management were like, fuck, this is like our best guy, but he's a fucking psycho. You know, so literally they're telling the staff, like, yo, if you have to say anything, tell us. We'll talk to him. You know what I mean? Don't ask him for shit. Don't bother him. Don't even look at him. You know what I mean? And everyone were like, oh, okay. And they learned. Like, <laughs> but when everyone, like, did that, like, bro, I was in the fucking zone. I was amazing. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I could run that station by myself when it took two or three other cooks. You know what I mean? So, it was like, my curse is kind of like a gift, you know, yeah. in certain states. You know, but it's like, it sucks with my social interactions with people. You know, because, like, who doesn't like the chef? Who doesn't want to talk about food? You know what I mean? So, I'm cooking. And then I'm like, hey, yo, why the fuck are you bothering me? Oh, you know? shit. And it could be the finest chick with her titties all in my face. I'm like, excuse me, madam. I'm on the clock. You know, like, <laughs> totally unaware of to what's going nice on. Nice titties. Know? Let me finish my food. She's all out there yeah. out in the open like, hey, we do have to work. Yeah. Nothing. I'm working. Stop it. Straight up, bro. Yep. Then, like, a week later, I'm there like, oh, I'm fucking stupid. You know what I mean? Like, way to go, dude. Like, like, so it's been fun learning who I am. <laughs> like, but food's always a constant. Like, you know what I mean? That yeah. shit never changes. Like, Were you ever mad when like, people was like, can I have some ketchup? I used to be literally at a table, and they got the fatty melts, and they were fucking exquisite. And I put them down, and they're like, yeah, can we both get that ketchup? That happened today. And I'm just like, <laughs> that happened Absolutely. today. Absolutely. You know what I mean? That like, actually we're, we're happened today, dude. I was like, I'll get you some somebody, ketchup. Somebody has ketchup for a, for a fancy <laughs> pants or a fatty melt? I don't know what it was. If and it was a fancy pants with ketchup, they got problem. I mean, I'm not mad. I think somebody heard ketchup for a... Oh, no, fancy pants? I, I think no so, way. yeah. I was going to say, because I'm a ketchup lover, but I wouldn't put fancy pants well, I mean, I wouldn't yeah, put ketchup I like on the ketchup fancy pants. I like ketchup, too, but I mean, I'm not going to put ketchup on, like, well, certain... to be clear, things. I don't know if it was a fancy pants or the fatty milk, but either way. Well, just <laughs> the fatty milk, just because, dude, it's a marbled rye bread. Yeah. Like, that... There's so much flavor already in that sandwich. That sounds amazing. Just you know, so, ride, bro. Like, yeah, so like putting ketchup on it, I'm like, I guess that's cool. Like if that's your thing, but I'm like, try yeah, it. That bread's fucking delicious. The other day he made a ham sandwiches. Yes, that's it. The toasted bread and ham. Nothing else. Yes, like the fucking, fucking, fucking delicious, dude. <laughs> fucking bomb. <laughs> simple. We try to keep it simple and good, you know? See, but now that he's mentioning this, I'm scared because to celebrate the opening of Jesus, we got tickets to Vegas. Uh-huh. To the McGregor fight. And oh, oh man. Dude, oh, they're, taking us, they're Wait, taking us to Vegas. Yeah. We're going to see Conor McGregor play. <laughs> like, it was so humble. Like, oh, we just got tickets to. Uh, That's how Vegas. fucking humble I am. <laughs> McGregor fight. Like, 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 okay. like, but here's the thing. Just said, out of nowhere, we got tickets to the McGregor fight. But here's fight. the thing. He has never been to Vegas. And you guys oh, been to be Vegas. Be so you know how it gets. Yeah. yeah. Now this guy <laughs> like he's gonna get Vegas wasted. And it's gonna be me and Kenny Body like Body Body. <laughs> also they're like we're in the past, like we know we like to fucking party and fight. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Dude, that's dope. That yeah. shit, that's gonna be badass, like, man. It was fucking gutter, like getting a ring. I can take you to McGregor. <laughs> he's like, like "Why, well, McGregor? Take your best shot. <laughs> <laughs> this fight ain't over, bitch. <laughs> I ain't got no belt. <laughs> <laughs> Still in the hospital. I ain't no bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Told you I fucked that pussy. <laughs> <laughs> For like six years at Hayashi's, uh-huh. uh, me and my brothers, and then like I wrestled in high school, um, and then after that I was doing like MMA, you know, jujitsu, kickboxing, yeah. and all that shit. Like I was, I was super into that for a long time, but I stopped like five years ago. Was it about five years? Ago? Yeah, dude, I got hit by two drunk drivers, like two separate drunk drivers in the same year. The fuck? What the like I had a Honda, I had a a Veloster, a black one, all murdered out, badass. Before I even got the plates, bro, I got hit by a drunk driver coming home. Like at four in the morning. And then uh, the insurance and all that from that shit, like I got a new Veloster, like a turbo. And I was like, hell yeah. And so like I had just gotten the plates. I was going to, actually I was going to Common Ground to go work uh, the the truck in the back. And it was the night of the Canelo and Triple G fight. But dude, this was like five in the afternoon. So I'm literally like pulling in the parking lot. I stopped because there's a truck coming out. 
And the intersection behind me, some drunk ass bitch like just blew through the red light and like fucking nailed me. Like told- five? Yeah, bro. She hit no. me so hard, like the seat right here like snapped in half. Like oh, I was like, shit, really? it was, I was like bent back, so it knocked me out. So like all I remember is like sitting there, and then I wake up and I'm looking at like the fucking roof. Like I'm like, what the fuck? And my car's just moving and I'm hitting the brake and nothing's happening. So I pull the emergency brake and I stop. And then I sit up and I'm like, one parking lot over. You know, Common Ground's over here. Yeah. I'm over here at the bakery and shit. <laughs> where fucking Little Caesars is like, what the fuck? Girl, like, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be back there. Yeah, like, I get out of my car and I'm just looking at it like, oh, fuck. It's like fucked up, right? And I'm just like, what the fuck? And like, I look over and, uh, like, on the median is a car. Like, the chick who hit me, like, her car went up on the median and just, like, it was stuck yeah, there. It so hit, it like, stuck. a tree. So she gets out. Like, she had bottles in her car. And she's trying <laughs> to, she's trying to like, hide them in the bushes right there at that Carlos and Mickey's, that new one they built yeah. right there on Monwood. <laughs> and this is, like, 5 in the afternoon, right? So it's, like, she walks out while traffic's coming. The lady who almost hit her is an MP from Fort Bliss coming home. <laughs> so she's, Shit. like, yo, you need to stop what the fuck you're doing. Like, you know, whatever. So the chick freaks out, gets in her car. And, and she wouldn't get out of her. Up. No, well, she couldn't drive, but, like, uh, she wouldn't come out of her car until her mom came. Like, the cops were there and everything. Like, eight cops standing around her car. Like, she wouldn't come out, like, because she was so wasted. But, yeah, man, like, it was pretty brutal. Like, my back was fucked up after that one. Like, and but, the worst yeah. part about it was, like, I wasn't seriously injured. Like, I was just kind of injured. So I couldn't sue anybody, but then I couldn't do anything because, like, my back was hurt, you know? But it's, like, not a serious injury. They're like, oh, yeah, man, you'll be getting, like, six months. I'm like, oh, okay. They're like, don't do but anything. Car? I'm like, that's <laughs> fucking whack. What do you mean don't do anything? You know? So I went from like working out all the time to like, I guess I just got to sit here. Like, literally. <laughs> like. So, oh, yeah. Moral of the story don't get a velocitor. <laughs> yeah. Or moral of the story is don't drink and drive. Yeah, don't don't drive. be a fucking <laughs> asshole. <laughs> the, the there's Ubers, there's Lyfts. Yeah. It doesn't matter if they're $100. <laughs> Your ass is drunk. You but better yeah. pay the $100. Twice in the same year. There's hotels around downtown. Twice, Twice I'm, I'm, I'm a statistical anomaly, bro. Like, most people don't even get in a car accident. I've probably been in, like, <laughs> seven or eight car accidents. Uh, when you, and uh, been uh, hit by three when different truck drivers. Was like, did he cut? Why is he one day? Because that would have been, like, even worse. Bro, I would have just quit driving. <laughs> then you get a back one and keep on the next, like, block. It's like, God damn it. Like, that's how it felt. It's like, finally got out there. Then, boom, another one. I'm like, what the fuck? So, I was like, I guess, dude, and literally, like, all I ever had were, like, fast cars. You know, like, yeah. an Eclipse. You know, Honda Civics. Like, a Grand Am. I had a Mustang. A small block V8 302. Like, in high school, an 84 Mustang. Like, so, I love fast cars. But it's, like, ever since all, I kept getting hit, I bought a fucking F-150. With the nice. towing package, like hit me now, bitch. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> like I'm still gonna drive home. <laughs> yeah, like you're gonna be fucked. I'll just be like, what? All right, later. Like, he gets hit by a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> fucking airplane off. Like, fuck. You got me. <laughs> so like, ah, fucked up, dude. <laughs> like, uh, this wasn't a challenge, guys. <laughs> He's right? like, oh shit, I didn't see that one coming. We're <laughs> trying to level it out, not one up you, like guys. Like, Next this was a challenge, guys. The universe said, all right, hold my beer. Right. It's like, I got a tank, guys. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking drone. <laughs> Fucking oh. meteor out of nowhere. Like, come on, dude. Like, <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you just can't win. Can't win. And that's how the menu was made. <laughs> so going back to cheeses, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I was about to sell some cheese that day. Dude, and it was hilarious, too, because, like, I felt so bad. Like, I'm all fucked up all days. The ambulance is, like, the EMS had me. I was like, hey, man, give me five minutes. I got to go tell that bar manager that I can't work today. And they're, <laughs> and they're like, what? I was like, I'm supposed to work right now. Let me go tell that. And they're like, dude, don't walk anywhere. I'm like, bro, I'll be right back. <laughs> so I just got up off the stretch, and I walk over there. And, like, I walk in there, and poor Lee, dude, he's right there at the bar. Like, I open the door. I'm like, oh, fuck. I was like, hey, man, I'm not going to be able to work today. He's like. Why? And I'm like, I hold the door open, and you just see like all the cops, like the ambulance, like the fire truck. He's like, "What the fuck? Hey, is that your car?" I was like, "It was my car." He's like, "Oh, it bro. was." Like, I was like, "Hey, but come with me, because dude, I had like food, like a box of fries, like oh, shit. 
I was like, hey, <laughs> like, this goes to you. <laughs> I was gonna bring your truck. Like, let me put it in your truck. He's like, wait, where's the food? Over there, over there, over there. <laughs> like it all, for, it all stayed in the back. <laughs> oh like, shit! So I was like, yo, put it in, put it inside, you know, like, and then I'm gonna go to the hospital and I'll just work tomorrow. Like, <laughs> I'm just gonna work tomorrow with the bracelet still on. Like, yeah, cool. dude, if fucking Lee was tripping down. He's like, this guy. He's like, who the fuck just like you just got hit by a car and you gotta come and tell. You could have just called me. I was like, nah, but the fries. <laughs> <laughs> like, I that just money, bought them, okay? You're gonna feel bad. <laughs> that, that's when it was just me and Kenny trying to make it happen, you know? So I'm just thinking, like, fuck, I can't let anything go to waste. Like, this money, like, <laughs> fuck, I'm just like, the fries. And he's like, bro, go to the hospital. Like, no, yeah, uh, but the fries. fries. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to flip them. <laughs> we'll put them in the freezer, dude. Shit. Like, <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, it was a crazy situation. It's so funny. You're just sitting in there oblivious to everything. Like, he didn't hear shit. He's just sitting there saying no. And then when I opened the door, he's like, holy how fuck. Like, the way you're just like, how did you not hear that out? That like, that bar, like, you don't hear anything. Like, it's so, oh, like, yeah, got, like, you know, like, grand. in there and, like, closed off. Like, yeah. real quiet in there. You know, it's nice. Yeah. I used to go to shows there, so, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. But the fries made it. They did. Yeah. So and that's the moral of this whole podcast. So the fries we made it. it. <laughs> 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 So what's your guys' favorite kind of cheese? Ooh. Cheese. Well, George can't have any cheese. No, you know, I actually have a Oaxaca cheese, but like from Oaxaca, like from Mexico. Mm. That's my favorite one. Has to be from there. Well, yeah, it's, well, it's, it's kind of like string cheese, right? Yeah, it's like the string but one. Like, ooh, natural. Baby. That's the one cheese I, I, I will You're like, be sick I'll do all it. day for that, yeah. Yes. <laughs> if, you, if, if, if any of the listeners or viewers are watching this and you've been to Mexico City, you know exactly which one I'm talking about. Pretty fire, I gotta lie. I like blue cheese, man. And everyone oh. hates it. I was gonna say I don't like blue cheese. Why? I don't like blue cheese. Like, I don't like I don't know, goat dude. cheese. It's, just, it's like goat cheese like is the one cheese, cheese I don't like. But blue but cheese, I love that. Do cheese. you have anything on the menu with goat cheese? No, right. Will you ever put something? I don't on think there? so. <laughs> like I hate it that much. Like, right, I don't, like he was like, no, I don't think so. I don't, I don't, like, I don't care if you like it. You're not gonna get that shit here. Like just the smell of it. I'm like, why? Like what the fuck? Like I don't know what it is too. Like like I said, I'm eating like blue cheese or like real funky cheeses, but goat cheese. I'm like, nah, nah, nah. There's some like, it tastes like the farm's butthole. So that's the worst cheese you ever had. Yeah, and that's a cheese you can't work up to either. Like. There's very few things you can eat in this life that, like, you could build a flavor for a lot of stuff. You might yeah. not like beer. You could build a taste for it. You know, you might not like fruit. You'll build a taste for it. But it's like lamb, eating lamb, you either like that shit or you hate it. There's no learning to love it. So I goat love cheese lamb. is the same way. Like, you either like it or you don't. There's no, like, oh, I could learn to like this. Nah. It, it'll just never happen. There's, it's weird how, like, the body's physiology, like, for flavor, no, like, nah, like, it, it does that, yeah, like, there's just things, like, the two foods I don't like are, like, uh, whole olives, like, fresh, like, Kalamata olives, I can't handle that shit, and, like, goat cheese. Oh. Melapela is always good. <laughs> the beer. Goat cheese. Stop by old cheese, you look at it, three and a half, right beside me, that's a six, seven, nine, one. Like, no shit. Oh, shit. So for you guys, what is like your main goal now that you got the restaurant open? You got you got you said you still got the food truck going around. What's like your your dream, your goal for cheeses, and what do you think is like the next step for it? Keep it here as long as you can. So expand, create a brand of it. Bro. Ultimately, but like, also like I, oh sorry, go. I was gonna say ultimately, <laughs> I think that's what every someone who creates a brand like it'd be cool to like watch it expand, grow into something, even something we could sell. Like market or franchise off, mm -hmm. like I think that would be ultimately like the ultimate thing. You know what I mean? Like second location, third location, like that. I mean, yeah. Or even if someone wanted to come and buy the name, like if they like huh. the concept, like they're just like, "Fuck you, we're gonna buy you out." Like if it. Because fun fact, I mean? we have the name Racer Jesus. Well, Kenny does. I don't know if he put it on there. Guilty. But I mean, it's, re it's really hard to come up with, like, an original idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, like I said, we were trying to be different. I mean, how many places can you get, like, tacos here? Like, so Paso, man. Yeah, every anywhere. And they got badass tacos, so it's like, why am I going to compete with that? Yeah. You know, and why would we open, like, another sushi bar? They're everywhere. Why am I going to open another regular burger spot? Like, they're yeah. everywhere. Like, so, I mean, this is kind of, like, where it's still recognizable, but it's a little different. You know what I mean? But it's something, like, I don't know. I think our menu, like, anyone can eat any of it. 
like, yeah, you know, and there's you stuff still, for kids, can, older people. You have people. stuff in the, in the menu that can change and everything. Yeah, be like, always. I mean, I think it's the coolest part that it's like, it's not something that we really have any restaurant here that kind of makes that their focus, but it's also something that you know for the most part everybody loves because it's comfort food. It's yeah. what everybody yeah. really wants to eat. So, I mean, I think that's the cool part without you guys and what the idea you came up with here. And I even put salads on there just because, like, I knew. I was like, maybe not everyone wants to come here and eat a sandwich. sandwich. <laughs> maybe they don't eat carbs. You know what I mean? I don't know. You know, so it's like I try to be, like, you know, understanding. That's why we put the vegan stuff on there. Maybe you're a vegan, you know, and all your friends yeah. aren't. You know, well, at least you got a couple things you can eat, you know, that are good. It's not just, like, I put it there just to, like, oh, there you go, vegan. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like, no, nah, it's, it's good. Like, there you go, vegan. Yeah, people yeah, really, vegan. like, there you fuck go. up. <laughs> they really, you know, people who have had it, they, they really enjoy that sauce. Some people get it, like, on the, they like it on the fries, you know. Like, one of my friends gets the Cali fries with the vegan cheese sauce because okay. she's lactose intolerant. And you said that's the sauce that, or you guys make the vegan cheese here, yeah. right? Yeah. Yep. Do you think you ever make, like, your own actual, like, Normal cheese or anything like that here? I want to. That's, uh, that's funny, too, because I was telling Kenny, I was like, it'd be cool to market, like, our own queso. Yeah. You know what, what I mean? Fuck? Like, um, But, yeah, you said, so you're talking about you're making your own cheese and wanting to? Yeah, that'd be totally cool to, like, jar it up or can it up. Like, I think I think it'd be cool to do that, too. You know, if people want to, like, recreate what we're doing here, you know, at home, I think that'd be cool. I mean, that'd be a cool market thing for you guys if you had, like, a sig- signature item, like, made with your own cheese and you say, hey... We have our own cheese with it too. If you want to just come purchase some cheese, take it home yeah, with you. Yeah. You can make your own grilled cheese at home, by all means. Because I mean, with that, you could even expand. If it, if it gets good enough, if it gets big enough, you never know. You might have, yeah. you know, some supermarkets and one like, hey, we want to buy and sell your cheese. Like, let's yeah. let's talk about it. So that'd be another cool way you guys can yeah, expand. Yeah. It'd be cool, something cool to do. We're always thinking about like, I'm, well, at least I'm always thinking about stuff I could do like that. <laughs> you know, that'd be fun to sell, fun to do that people like to eat here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. Oh man, cool. Well. Um, I guess with that, we'll start wrapping up here. Is there anything you guys want to say to the lovely people about cheeses? Make them anything else before we go ahead and get off here? Hashtag, that's what she said. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> Shout out to Hoyota for doing the artwork, amazing artwork. Christian Howard, she designed the whole thing. Thank you guys for having us. Uh, Old Street Brewery, fucking the good beers. <laughs> really good, good beers. <laughs> and also, I, I remember you mentioned Alex from White Knife. Shout out to yeah. him. He's an amazing guy. Yeah, and I'll be told us. <laughs> yeah, and hit us up. <laughs> Hours of cheeses, Tuesday through Friday, 11 a.m. through 3 p.m. And then Saturdays, 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. For all of those that are working the other days, you can go and hit us up. Get your cheese satisfied, I promise you. I, I promise. did not meant that in a sexual way. <laughs> uh, or sure. I mean, if you do, you know, hey. I did. Meet me at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. So we're going drinking after that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like always, we got to pay those bills. We got to keep our sponsors happy. But always, we got to yeah. thank the guys that always brew the beer, get us drunk, and get us toasty for all the stuff that we do. Shout out to Old Cheap Black Brewery. Old Cheap Black Brewery, look at it. 3900 Rosa Avenue, El Paso, Texas, 79905. Right there on the Vider Lincoln Park, guys. Stood your stood, grab a beer, brown bag it. There's some good time there. You know what? We got good beers. We got good stuff there. Good music sometimes. All the time, actually. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> I was going to say sometimes. No, we have all the time. Like, Woo! <laughs> beer. Get it all that time. Whatever. I forget. I'm going to fix it. Not going to fix it. But always going to think. We told us. We told us. Look at it. 216 West Franklin, El Paso, Texas, 79901, right there next to the baseball stadium. Across the History Museum. Have some delicious stogies. 360 cigars. So don't say they don't have anything for you because they also have liquor, guys. If you don't smoke, get some good liquor. Get some bourbon. Uh, top shells on Tuesdays. It's some special. So. Hit him up and also get a thing, Alex from White Knife Dining. White Knife Dining is the Pond Rock food truck. They're going to be changing around, moving around, keeping all that food growing. Yeah, guys, and as always, please be sure to check us out at sixfeetunderstudios.com where you will find links to all of our streaming platforms, including our YouTube, Apple Podcasts, and our Spotify. You will also find a link to our Instagram where we like to post anything and everything with Six Feet Under Studios. So make sure you guys follow us and keep up with us there. Um, also, on our website, you'll find a local spot that we like to feature everybody who will be working with. You'll see something about the cheeses guys on there. So make sure you guys check that out so you guys can keep up with them and see everything they got going on. Um, remember here at Six Feet Under, we're all about local supporting locals. So make sure you guys check us out and help everybody in your local community. It's very, very important to us. Um, once again, thank you to the Cheese guys for joining us here today. Thank you so much. Uh, make sure you guys check them out. They have a really awesome thing going on here. Really great menu. So make sure you guys check them out, support them. And then as always, guys, stay hard. Bye, guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>